Zyrene at the Telestrator. Thank you very much, Freak. And an eight-game winning streak for TIP so far, even with Gate in the mid lane coming in after Xiao Wei Xiao not being able to play. But this is a play that TIP got a huge lead off of. It's the Baron. And there's actually a lot of setup to this too. Apollo, AD carry has a pink ward, and there's a very minimal vision control left from gravity. They only have that singular ward there. He places his pink, and as we roll this clip out, you're gonna see the, the contribution that Apollo actually brings to the setup of this. Move, his sight stone is out. He's actually backing to base during this replay in order to get himself to a point where he can actually ward the Baron. Now Apollo, he stepped on that trap. But what he's gonna do is he's gonna walk towards the middle where the rest of his team is after shoving up top lane and clearing the Baron vision that looks like Apollo's actually joining the main forces of the team. So what ends up happening is the trap wears off as we continue rolling the replay out. And he's gonna walk back up. You don't know that this is happening though, if you're gravity. So they're gonna actually turn it around, go straight for this Baron, put all their resources into it. But gravity's back in base. Move had to recharge his sight stone, like I said. Also Keen, he has to come the long way around. Maokai is dealing with Shen, and then all hell breaks loose here. Altec has to re-engage from this side, and what ends up happening is the forces are split. The main damage dealers, only Shockwave hitting one person. It only hits impact. Apollo flashes to the right, and Altec has to tunnel on Adrian because it's the closest person to him that he can deal damage to. Move and Keen are both over here trying to deal damage to Rush. They can't get into this big cluster of forces. Your frontliners are up there, but you actually can't back them up. Altec is going to do a lot of damage to Adrian, but Adrian's actually gonna flash away, eat the, put the exhaust onto him, and he's gonna live inside the pit. But the main problem here is that Shockwave hit one person, and all your damage dealers aren't able to follow up as we continue rolling this play out. So TFP, they already burst down the Baron to get here, and Rush, he charges towards Keen, blows all of Keen's mana, and they're still not dead. And Altec, like I said, he split, he can't deal any damage off on the side, and he gets zoned off by impact. So TIP not only played the setup to the fight appropriately, they also played it out in the best possible way, giving themselves a gigantic lead. But now, let's hand it off to Dash, who has two of those victorious members on the desk. Thank you, Zyrene. As he mentioned, I'm joined with Apollo and Adrian of the bot lane of Team Impulse. You guys have extended your run here to 8-0 on the back half of the split, looking to go 9-0, a clean sweep of all the teams if you win tomorrow. But I want to come to you first, Apollo, with the fact that you've tied up for first now. There are four teams sitting at the top of the table, all tied. Yeah. How does that feel to know that you guys are in contention for the number one spot going into playoffs? Um, I mean, it feels good. We were obviously a little bit like shaky this weekend because of the roster swap, and we didn't have like that much time to practice. So we weren't exactly sure how well we we're gonna do. But especially since we beat, you know, Gravity, kind of decisiveness, not like that. It was pretty clean, I guess. So I think we'll we'll be we'll have a good shot at playoffs. Uh, Adrian, I gotta ask you about this kind of roster switch up here. As you've returned to the team, Gates been swapped to the mid lane. What was this adjustment period like? As it was, you know, rather last minute. I was really unexpected. Like I didn't expect Zhao Zhao to leave so sudden, and like Gate really performed. I didn't expect him to do as good as he did. Yeah, he definitely stepped up, having played both support and mid. So Apollo, to you, you know, I have to imagine it helped a little bit that you guys had at least been playing with Gate in another role, yeah, but you yeah. at least had him around the team and and had been playing with him coming into today. Yeah, I mean, it was it was good. We obviously, yeah, we had a little bit of experience, but it's still like there's so much so many things with, within our team because it's not the standard communication, right? So he has to learn like the phrases that we use, like the kind of lingo that we talk with. So it just, it just takes a little bit of time for him to grow. Now, what would you say would be the biggest difference between those two mid laners if you had to say, bringing Gate in, mm -hmm. what changes in the dynamic of the team here for Impulse? Um, it's hard to tell just because we haven't played with him too much. Um, I think Jao Jao is definitely stronger at team fighting, but I think Gate's like better just working with the team in general. Okay. So yeah. All right, well, you know, back over to you, Adrian. You guys play Team Liquid tomorrow. Now, this is one of the teams that is tied with you guys at the top of the table. So you're kind of in control of your own destiny here with what seed you end up in as long as you guys win out. How do you feel going into that matchup tomorrow? Do you think you're going to come away with that first? I first feel really by? confident after watching the game today and playing today. They weren't that strong. 
All right, well, bold, yeah, strong <laughs> words there. You know, specifically in that bot lane matchup, we talked a little bit about Expecial and Piglet. I don't know if you guys had the opportunity to watch the game before playing your own. Uh, we talked a little bit about some individual missteps uh, that they made in the 2v2. If you guys end up in that 2v2 scenario, how, how do you feel about that matchup specifically? I'd be happy if they messed up like they did today. <laughs> <laughs> Are you confident, though, that even if they don't mess up, you're still going to come out on top yeah, there with that 2v2? I like it. I like, I like it. All right, now, Apollo, you know, we saw you back on coast, mm -hmm. you know, many splits ago. Right. And the season didn't turn out so well for you guys. I, I kind of want to get some insight into how it feels to have gone from a team you know, and, and having not performed optimally to where you're at now, which again is in contention for that first round by that first place slot in the NALCS and possibly going to Worlds. Uh, I, I mean, I guess, I mean, it feels good, obviously, but I don't really think about it like that. You know, I think that um, what it, you know, what, whatever happened on coast kind of like, not like I deserve it, but you know, it happened for a reason, right? It's so like I, I just kept on working hard and then here I am. All right. Well, gentlemen, again, congratulations on your victory today. This does make the top of the table very interesting, so we'll have to thank you for whatever tiebreakers may come as a result of this. Now, we've got more games coming your way after this quick break. Enemy Esports will take on TSM. Don't go anywhere. I wish I was in the audience. I want to catch some of those. Dude, I see so many tip fans. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Pops it, impacts him with the taunt flash. Gonna land that a big shockwave, but is it gonna land enough time? Oh, no. oh, he flashes no way. Oh, my God. Oh, no. He nearly put him into the javelin. Sheldon tries to save Rush. Rush is running and running and running, but not gonna get away with this one. Oh, coming, 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 coming. Is it Careful, 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 Yeah, I'm coming too. Yeah, Wait for slow. me. Slow, slow, go slow. Lucien, 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 Comes in a two-man toss. Huge. Double kill. Massive Azir combo coming across. And now Hans are caught out. A triple kill for Gate. Can't flash or ulti away. All take the next target going to be oh drops goodness. on this one. Hans are only so tanky. Azir knocks him into the wall. Gate undefeated on Team Impulse once as a support, once as a mid laner. 